Graffiti Grooming. Today I'm going to show you how to take lines out of a dog when you shave it um, and they still have lines from that. So I hope you guys enjoy. So as you can see from me cutting it tear, there's different lines here. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that, but I'm going to shave this side first so you can see how I'm shaving it. So you know I didn't like purposely try to do it. You always want to go at an angle. On the sides, on, let me switch hands real quick. So you're gonna go a little bit at an angle when you're shaving. Follow the, the body, the curve of the body. <laughs> Sorry, I got the sniffles. I'm going to show you a couple of different options. We have this, which is a stripper tool, um, stripping tool, stripper tool. <laughs> Man, dog grooming is so much fun, let me tell you. So this is a stripper tool. Hold on just a second. And then this is, if you don't have that tool, I'm going to show you how to do it without having that tool. So the dog has lots of lines. These dogs aren't really meant to be shaved this short, but the owners want it that way. Um, and when that happens, obviously because they have two coats, sometimes you get weird lines in there. So she's going to show you how to use the stripper. <laughs> she's like, that feels good. <laughs> yeah, I bet. She's like, oh, you're getting all that undercoat? Mmm, feel good. Okay, so what she's doing is kind of, it's pulling out the undercoat and evening up those lines. So like you can see in comparison up here. Yeah, you see go, up here you see the there. lines right there, and, and then right up. here when she went where she did that, it smooths it out. So this Always is Emily, by the way. She's oh, one yeah. of the new ones. These are the the type of videos we're gonna start doing is shorter videos with specific things that I do and teach people how to do so that you guys don't have to watch an entire video. We are still going to have full videos, just not as often. You want to pull that skin forward. Say that louder so we can Oh, uh, you, you want to pull the skin forward before going at it? Because these are very sharp edges. You just got to be really careful. So I'm trying not she, to She's a wiggler. That's all it is. All right, so you see just such a, a big difference in yeah. using that tool. Um, I've actually never used a stripper, a hand stripper, whatever. Shut up, I like the word. <laughs> okay. I like the word stripper. Um, so yeah, it's it comes fine. in coarse, it comes in soft, but this is like a double whammy because I got the bow. Um, it doesn't really have a huge impact, but you can use it on short or long coats, and it'll get a lot of your lines out and undercoat. I'm super excited to start learning how to do hand stripping because I've seen videos and pictures and they... It's a lot of work. Oh, but they're so pretty though. <laughs> they, yeah, they do come out like It's not really nice. something... We live out in the country, so it's not really something very many people around here would want, but it is really cool to see. You saw how she does it with the hand stripper, and I'm going to show you if you don't... Shut up! She laughs every time I say stripper. Stripper, 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 stripper! <laughs> stripper! <stripper. laughs> stripper! Okay, anyways. Uh, I hope that's not counted as a cuss word. No, no. Oh, well, YouTube land is different. That's a, that's you a just said, I'm um, shut up. She <laughs> said stripper was a profession. We're not going to go there. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, oh Lord. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. So this is a, a Furminator. Sorry. I lost the word. She got me over here on strippers. <laughs> this is a Furminator. These are my, um, they're not my thinnings. They're my, what are they? I fluffers. Them yeah. She calls them in-betweeners. They're fluffers. And then my comb. You can use chunkers. I uh, would recommend if you don't have fluffers to use thinners, though, because they don't take as much hair off. Um, and then she's going to hold the camera. And I'm going to show you. We just touch it to make it go back. But I'm going to show you how we do this. So get closer so they can see. Not that close, smartass. All right, so. <laughs> I just take kind of like she did with her uh, stripper, 
I just take this and I run it across to kind of pull any hair that didn't come out when we blow dried them because we do I do D sheds on any dog that has a double coat gets a D shed bath with its with its haircut. If you do not do a D shed on a dog that has double coat, you're not going to get a good haircut. Period. It's going to be difficult to fix. So I use that first, and that really fixed quite quite a bit of it. Um, but if that doesn't get all of it out, like right here, I comb it up. I take my fluffers. And I just lightly scissor that layer that's still sticking out. Okay. And I don't do, I don't really do the whole body. I just find the, the parts where the lines were. And I just do that. And then when you comb it down, it's smooth. It's nice and pretty and smooth. Smooth. There's no more lines. So you see hers is up here. And then mine's down here. It's fine. Hopefully, as long as they saw it, that's all that matters. Anyway, she's still learning. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little tutorial and learning lesson for the day. If you did, please like it. Uh, subscribe. And hit the bell icon so you can get all my notifications for all my learning little tips, tricks, and trades. And this was my Mad Minute for the day. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Okay. Bye.